What is going on guys, I'm Shane from Rocket Powered Sound. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at how to make this insane virtual riot slash getter type uh, growl bass and this is what it sounds like. Uh, absolutely insane crazy FM bass here. If you guys like that sound, slap this video a like. And before we get any further in today's video, let me start off by thanking my father, my awesome father, the best dad in the entire world. Thank you so much for everything that you've done for me. I know I'm not home right now and I'm in Cape Cod obviously, but I just wanna take a moment to thank you for everything that you've done for me. Today is Father's Day, so I'm sorry I can't spend the day with you, but I really do appreciate everything that you've done for me this year, whether it be hockey, my business, everything. Yeah, I really, it means the world to me. Thank you so much, Dad, uh, for understanding me. <laughs> Uh, anyways, I hope that you guys have an awesome Father's Day as well if you're a dad, but let's get back into today's video. Um, so first things first, we are going to turn on, <laughs> uh, we're going to be running our FM off of Debussy. And Debussy, if you guys aren't familiar with it, is actually a very harmonic waveform. Let's take a listen to what this sounds like. So it's this point in the waveform right here. This exact spot just sounds so nice. It sounds like a harmonic and it sounds like we're playing multiple notes at once, almost like a major, a major chord. It just has that very royal essence to it. So we're going to be using this actually to um, run the FM and actually what we're going to be doing with this is, is we're running it off of a very harmonic structure like this, which is going to be creating that nice harmonic sound that we hear that just sounds so awesome and vibrant to the ears. So let's turn up our FM from B. Oh no, there's no FM to be run off of because oscillator B is not turned on. So let's just turn on oscillator B and we're going to head over to our basic shape selection. And we're just going to turn it to our sawtooth waveform. Um, so uh, since we are going to be running the all of the sound through oscillator A, that means we don't really have a reason to be dropping or to be having the level on for oscillator B because it just causes interference and why do we want that? So we're just going to turn up the FM. Let's start our, our uh, what? Um, our modulation, I just had a blank moment right there. Let's start our modulation cycle here. Uh, we're gonna turn on alpha one straight onto FM from B. And this is kind of the shape I made. I'm gonna put the voice on mono legato, that way we can have some uh, pitch bend here. All right, sounds absolutely disgusting. Now, some quick changes here is we're actually gonna be turning up oscillator B's octave till we start getting that inharmonic metallic sound. Right away, we are right in the direction of the sound that we want to be. Um, so we're gonna turn on our sync now. If you guys can hear, um, as we start to turn up the sync, we are introducing another um, another cycle of the waveform within one cycle. Obviously increasing the octave since we are doing so. So what we're gonna be doing is we're actually gonna be modulating this up. And that's going to create an even screechier point when we're right at this high level here. And that's really useful. Um, so I encourage you guys to test this out in your own bases because uh, you can do some really, really interesting stuff with it. So let's take a listen now. Pretty cool, right? Now what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the voicings because right now it's good, right? It's, it's a good sound, but it needs to be better. We need it to, to sound like some thick ass Virtual Riot getter stuff. So we're gonna turn up the voicings to six. Now let's take a listen. Okay, that doesn't sound too right, correct? So it sounds very detuned and basses typically, we don't want them to be detuned with multiple voices like this. That just sounds weird unless we're you know, making rhythm and rhythm does sound weird. I don't even know how it's a genre at this point. So we're gonna start off by turning down, I just sneak this <laughs> rhythm. We're gonna turn down the detune 0.13 and 0.13 as well. We want the same amount basically. 
Um, but one little change here that's going to make the difference is we're actually going to turn on the random phase and turn on the random phase. So as you can see, as we're turning down the random phase, um, it is no longer going to be selecting or going to be starting the waveform at just any part in, in the sound. Because normally we could press a note, it could start it here, start it here, start it here, start it here. So as we turn on the random phase, it's, it's just kind of closing down on that window in which is going to start the sound at. And the closer we get to zero, Obviously, when we get to zero, it's only going to start it at the same point every single time. And we have it set on oscillator A and oscillator B. So it's both doing that. And just take a listen to the sound it creates. This is the key to rhythm. All you have to do is turn up some voices, put down the random phase, and mess around with a detune, and boom, you have a rhythm bass. But we're not making rhythm. This just sounds really cool in this sound. Cool, right? So what we're going to be doing is we're going to turn on our filter and we're going to go to our high pass filter. The high pass filter is going to be used to kind of emulate a talking sound. It's going to cut out these lower end frequencies and then just modulate it up to go wow, wow a little bit more, right? So we're going to turn the resonance down to about 35% and that's going to give us a lot more of a vocal, vocal um, sound here and we're going to start off by dropping the cutoff. So we're going to have it modulate up. As you can hear, we are starting to introduce a more vocal sound into the sound. Might want to turn on the sync a little. Just little changes here and there can make the sound sound a little bit better. Clean it up. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm sorry. We're not going to be modulating uh, LFL1 with the cutoff. Or the cutoff with LFL1. Uh, that's awkward. <laughs> We're actually going to be turning on LFL2 because LFL2 is actually going to have the talking shape, and that's going to be the talking element for the sound itself. I'm so sorry. I don't know how I just messed that up. Um, but this is what I did. I did a little something like this. I have it so... Um, the sound itself develops around halfway, right? Um, but when we have LFO2 here, it's the vocals is, are going to come for, first as it's the sound starting to develop, right? And it just kind of creates this really, really nice vocal sound. We want to put this on trigger and one half. All right, now we are actually starting to get the sound that we want. Um, one thing that we're going to do is we're going to add in a little bit of a surprise here. We're going to turn on the LFO2 onto the detune and modulate this down. Oh my, take a listen to that. Doesn't that sound cool? Um, we're decreasing the detune as it starts to go up. And that's really just letting the harmonic FM sounds just shine right at the top where we really want it to. Let's try turning up the FM. Maybe the sync again, and the FM. That is the sound we're looking for, and that's what creates that really glass sound. <laughs> I, I don't know why, but it's, it reminds me of glass as we start to move towards the top of that um, LFO shape. But into the effects here, we're just going to turn on our hyper, and we're just going to leave the mix at around 20%. Uh, dimension, size, we're going to drop it around 2%. We don't want too much. If you guys follow my tutorials, you would you would understand. Um, phaser, we're going to drop the rate down to 0 hertz, and we're going to drop the depth frequency down to 0 as well, except the depth actually goes down to 20 hertz. Um, so, Anyways here, what we're doing is we're filling in these lower end frequencies by putting a phaser that has absolute the rate is at zero so it's not going to be moving it's just static at one sound and that means you know it's just, just going to be working as a filter it's going to be either adding or subtracting frequencies depending on where we are since we are located down at the 20 hertz mark we are going to be putting in a lot of these phaser which are a lot kind of emulates a vocal sound um of these frequencies down in the lower end of the sound which it sounds absolutely great we're going to drop the mix down a little bit Okay, that sounds good. Um, we're filling in where there needs to be more sound, right? So um, multi-band compressor, we're just gonna turn on our compressor, multi-band, and we're just gonna turn up the gain a tad bit. 
and that's what really makes it come to life. Now, it sounds good right now, but we could make it sound a little bit more vocal. And who doesn't want their sounds to sound more vocal, right? So you guessed it, we're gonna be turning on our EQ and we're gonna be using a peak, um, our peak shape to, and we're gonna be modul modulating that across the course of the Hertz to actually create a vocal sound. So let me, let me show you what I mean. We're just gonna turn up this middle shape, which is our peak. We're gonna gain this to, let's say, 11 hertz, or less than dec decibels, I'm sorry, I didn't mean hertz. Um, so we're gonna just, as you can hear, as we turn up the frequency, we're starting to create a vocal sound. Okie dokie. That's what I like to hear. Finally, we could finish it off with a tad bit of reverb. Maybe even a short delay. That never hurt, right? And then, of course, you finish off the sound with the rocket powered sound. Because Rocket Power Town is the number one space on or channel on YouTube for making serum tutorials, and who wants to miss out on that? Um, if you guys are already missing out, which means you're not subscribed, then what the hell are you doing? Click that subscribe button ASAP and say, do yourself a favor. Anyways, I hope that you all have a very well done Father's Day. Thank you, Dad, for all that you've done for me. Appreciate it. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video.